Demystifying Serverless Applications, The Power of Scalable, Cost-Effective Cloud Computing. Welcome to our video on Understanding Serverless Applications. In this presentation, we'll explore the basics, principles, use cases, and real-world examples of serverless applications. Let's start with the basics. Serverless applications are a type of cloud computing model where the cloud provider manages the infrastructure and automatically allocates resources as needed. With serverless, you don't have to worry about provisioning or managing servers. Instead, you focus solely on writing and deploying your code. Now, let's dive into the principles of serverless applications. The first principle is event-driven architecture. In serverless applications, functions are triggered by events. An event can be anything from an HTTP request, a new item in a database, or a message in a queue. The code is executed only when triggered, allowing for a highly scalable and efficient architecture. Another key principle is auto-scaling. With serverless, the cloud provider automatically scales the resources allocated to your application based on the incoming workload. This means your application can handle spikes in traffic without manual intervention. You pay only for the resources used during execution, making it cost-effective. The third principle is pay per use. With serverless, you pay only for the actual execution time and resources consumed by your application. This granular billing model allows you to optimize costs and only pay for what you use. It eliminates the need to pay for idle resources. Now that we understand the principles, let's explore some use cases for serverless applications. Serverless is a great fit for web applications, especially for handling dynamic workloads. You can easily build and deploy functions to handle API requests, process data, or serve static assets. The auto-scaling nature of serverless ensures your application can handle any amount of traffic. Serverless is also well-suited for real-time file processing. For example, you can trigger a function whenever a new file is uploaded to a storage service. The function can process the file, extract information, and store the results in a database. This enables quick and efficient data processing without the need for managing servers. Internet of Things IoT, applications often require handling a large number of events from various devices. Serverless provides an excellent platform for processing these events. You can collect data from IoT devices, trigger functions to process and analyze the data, and take actions based on the results, all in a scalable and cost-effective manner. Let's explore some real-world examples of serverless applications. One of the most popular serverless platforms is AWS Lambda. Many companies use Lambda for various use cases, such as image and video processing, data transformations, real-time analytics, and more. Lambda integrates seamlessly with other AWS services, providing a powerful ecosystem for building serverless applications. Twilio Functions is another example of a serverless platform. It allows developers to build communication-focused applications using serverless functions. You can handle SMS or voice interactions, implement call routing logic, and even create chatbots, all without managing any infrastructure. Google Cloud Functions is Google's serverless platform. It enables developers to build and deploy functions that automatically scale based on demand. You can create serverless backends for mobile and web applications, process data, and integrate with other Google Cloud services for a seamless development experience.
In conclusion, serverless applications provide a scalable, cost-effective, and efficient way to build and deploy applications. By leveraging event-driven architecture, auto-scaling, and pay-per-use pricing, you can focus on writing code and delivering value without worrying about infrastructure management. Whether it's web applications, real-time processing, or IoT applications, serverless is a powerful approach for modern software development.